1919, a small company in Tokyo was established, aiming to produce optics for medical research purposes. At the time, Japan generally imported all their medical equipment from Germany, but their ambition was to rival and hopefully surpass the quality of their German imports. So, in 1920, under the name Takiwa, their first microscope was released. A mere year later, the small Tokyo-based company registered their trading name under a more familiar sounding name. After a good start in the optics market, Olympus aimed its sights at the photographic market by developing lenses based on Zeiss's Tessa lenses. They employed a young man by the name of Yoshihisa Maitani to head production. And unfortunately, after not finding anyone willing to buy the lenses, the company decided to rather build a camera to fit the purpose. And so, the Olympus Standard and Semi Olympus II were born. With the birth of two new cameras, it positioned Olympus as rival to Arconta and Contax, two prominent manufacturers of the time. But instead of copying their German rivals, they opted for a complete redesign of the cameras. Well, because they found the competition to be, plainly put, boring. The company continued to develop exciting new products such as the Trip, Flex and Pen cameras. However, it wasn't until 1972 that Olympus produced something to be considered a dawn of a new era for photography. Formerly known as the M-System and designed by Maitani, this camera was Olympus's answer to creating the ultimate 35mm film camera by making it lighter, more ergonomic and pleasant to look at. However, a small German camera company at the time saw this brand new design and took offense at the name, causing Olympus to simply rebrand it to the OM system we know today. This new system was a revolutionary new camera designed for the professional, but lighter than other cameras produced by big names such as Canon and Nikon. Now, decades have passed since Olympus unveiled the OM-1 to the photographic market. And during this time, they survived the world war, the declining film market, the rise of digital cameras, and undergone a few name changes as well. But half a century later, they've unveiled what promises to be their next major milestone in a long and arduous journey of camera and company development. Today, Olympus is regarded as one of the best Micro Four Thirds SLR cameras to use on the market, and it's about to get even better. Meet the newly rebranded OM Systems OM-1. 50 years in the making. A 20.4 megapixel Micro Four Thirds stack BSI Live MOS sensor housed inside a magnesium alloy body promises a strong, reliable camera capable of shooting 92 stills at 120 frames per second with no blackout when using the new Zuiko Digital ED 12-40mm f2.8 Mark II Pro. The OM-1 also promises 7 stops of sensor shift stabilization, with an additional stop available for digital stabilization. Now, the autofocus has also been vastly improved, allowing you to track aircraft, bullet trains, birds, cats, dogs, formula cars, helicopters, motorcycles, rally cars, standard trains, and even steam locomotives. All by selecting it from an option in its beautifully designed menu. And if tracking subjects aren't your thing, you can select a focus point from one of the 1053 AF points available as either phase or contrast detected focus points. Speaking of focus, the OM-1 has a built-in focus stacking mode that allows you to shoot 3 to 15 images at different focus points and automatically composites them together in a single image. As a landscape photographer, I found this feature very handy as the camera does all the thinking and measuring for you. You simply press the shutter button and the camera does the rest. Now the battery life is rated at 520 shots or 19 minutes of video recording on a fully charged BLX1 lithium ion battery. So even if you're a bit trigger happy like me, you should be able to use this camera for a full day on a single charge. Charging this camera is also simplified. With no bulky chargers necessary, 
you can easily charge the camera via its USB-C port. That's not all. The OM1 is capable of shooting video up to true 4K or C4K at 496 by 2160 and either its OM log or HLG modes with unlimited recording time. It features a jack to plug in a 3.5mm microphone and a separate jack for your headphones. This performance increases all thanks to the new TruePix 10 processor allowing these incredible speeds, rivaling many of the top full-frame mirrorless cameras available on the market today. It's quite impressive for a camera weighing only 599 grams, and that includes a memory card and battery. From a company which have experienced many setbacks and losses, to revolutionizing photography and providing many photographers with a newfound love for the arts. It's no wonder the OM-1 is a camera sure to fill you with a sense of nostalgia for an era long gone. Tani, who developed the original OM-1 back in 1972, passed away in 2009 and never saw the latest design come to life. But his legacy lives on in the name, as OM stands for Olympus Maitani. A great nod to a legend who helped revolutionize the modern day camera. I can't help feeling that he would have approved of this camera if he were still alive today.